Hey Tribe, it's Jeff. Today I wanted to reach out and kind of talk about feeling lost. Have you ever felt lost or confused or unsure or almost like you weren't sure what to do next and you needed to get clear? And I just wanted to find out what you do to get yourself clear. For me, there was a time in my life when I completely was unclear of what I needed to do. I feel like I had a lot of talents in a lot of different areas. I felt like I had a purpose. I had more than one purpose. And so I would catch myself taking a couple of steps in one direction and a couple of steps in another direction and another couple of steps in another direction and then completely giving up because I wasn't exactly sure where to go or what to do because there were so many desires and so many things that I wanted to do. So I would I felt unclear and a lot of times it would leave me feeling lost and almost isolated because I don't I didn't I felt like other people didn't have that problem or that issue. And so you know I started to think about what I was like in high school and I would always and I I realized that I was an average student. I feel like I've led an average life for many, many years. Um, you know, when I was in school, I never really had to study too hard to get an 80 or a 90 to 90 on a test, so I didn't. Um, I was an average friend. I've been an average lover, an average son, an average employee. Um, I did well at my job, so I didn't try too hard because I passed all my, you know, met all my metrics and different things like that in corporate America. So I just realized, you know, that I was an average person and I allowed myself to be average because I didn't know what I wanted to do or where to go or how to go about it because I was unclear because there were so many things going on in my mind and in my heart and in my soul. And I knew that I had a purpose, but I just didn't know which one to pick or how to go about it. There, you know, in my life growing up, there wasn't a lot of people that I could um, follow as an example. And you become like they say, you become like, you know, the top five people that you hang around or you rise to the level of those around you. And so if the people around me, you know, were average or, you know, not necessarily super successful or you didn't see them apply themselves in a way that they mastered different things. So, you know, that's kind of what I allowed myself to do. And so I found myself, you know, um, several years ago feeling completely lost until, you know, the universe knows exactly where you are and will provide exactly what you need right when you need it. That's my belief. And so I was listening to um, a discussion with Oprah and she was talking about what is your next right move? You know, growing up, she, you know, um, was in um, television and different things like that. And before she um, got her own show, she realized she just needed to figure out what her next right move was. And that really um, affected me when I heard that because up until that point, I had never really thought about, you know, it's okay to feel talented in many areas. It's okay to have more than one purpose and that I could just pick one and focus on the next right move. And the way that I go about that now is something that I call a purge. Because I don't know about you, but as I go throughout my day, my weeks, my months, my mind and my heart, they still become cluttered because I, I get really excited and attached to certain things that I want to do. So I need to kind of get them all out. And it kind of reminds me back in the day when day planners were super popular and you could write everything down in your day planner. Well, the purge is similar. I basically write down everything that's going on in my mind and in my heart and in my soul, all the desires, all the things that are going on that are cluttering me up. And I, it allows me to get clear on what my next right move is. And so I just wanted to reach out and invite you that if you feel lost or confused or unsure of what your next right move is, I wanted to invite you to connect with me. Sometimes you just need someone to help guide you. And I want to help guide you with my purge process. So if that's you, if you feel that way, connect with me. Thank you.